Hello and welcome, my name is Abba Bizquick, and I'm back again with another Code 2 build order. This time I'll be looking at another intermediate build similar to the Panzer Grenadier Stall. This build is similar in that it relies on the Panzer Grenadier, but in reality it plays very differently. This is the Assault Grenadier Open. Despite having some of the same units in this build, it isn't going to play very similarly to the Panzer Grenadier Stall. The p Grand Stall is based around careful play, holding territory until you can apply pressure with your p Grenadiers to try and claim a mid-game advantage. The Assault Grenadier Open is different in that you'll have a powerful CQC unit with the Assault Grenadier. In this build, you need to pressure the enemy early in order to claim advantage and snowball to a victory. The first thing to do is to skip on the first tech building. You won't be needing Grenadiers, so we're going to skip out on the usual first build. Instead, your first build will be a second Pioneer. Your pair of Pioneers is surprisingly good at close range combat. You'll find that you can easily defeat combat engineers and rear echelon troops, even when advancing into them. You can defeat conscripts if you start the engagement at close range. The pair can 2v1 rifles and Tommies. Basically, don't be afraid to fight with your Pios early, especially since you desperately need the early advantage with this build. The next thing you need to do is to click on the Strategic Reserves Doctrine. This gives you access to Assault Grenadiers, P4Js, and a Tiger. Right now the only thing that matters are the Askrens. The other things don't really matter, but you need the Askrens. Once you can afford the, the Askrens, you need it. In fact, you need two, so they're incredibly powerful in the early game. I would send your first Askrens to the enemy fuel. Since they deploy instantly, you have a very powerful tempo advantage, and you can stop the enemy player here. Attack their fuel, charge in if you need to. If you can close with one or two of them, you can beat pretty much anything available for a while. Once you have the 40 fuel, click up to battle phase 1. Until it's ready, you need to apply pressure with piles and askrens to keep the other player in the dirt. Once BP-1 is ready, build a P-Gren, then another P-Gren. Now you have extremely powerful infantry with smoke grenades and nuke nades. Now that we have powerful troops and an advantage, we're going to pull off a tech skip. We're not going to build the BP-1 tech building, we're just going to go straight into BP-2. With this, we can save fuel and rush into a Panzer IV. In the meantime, we need to save up on fuel and keep our manpower float low. To this end, build a bunker and get the field hospital. We can reduce the MP bleed with medics and spam out more p -grins. You may notice that you are incredibly weak to light vehicles right now, since you skipped the AT gun tech. No worries, the Panzer Grenz can equip Panzer Shreks, and since you can afford about two P-Grenz between clicking up and getting the fuel for the P-4, you can equip two of your P-Grenz with Shreks and create a death squad for tanks. Now you can afford to take tech and build the P-4. If you've gotten there correctly, you probably have a good lead and a high chance of winning. There are some options here. After the P-4, you can choose to build more powerful medium tanks provided by your Doctrine, spending additional MP float for the map with P-Grenz, or you can save up for a Tiger Ace. Your options here are open, so make the best choice for the game. This has been the Assault Grenadier Open from the Code 2 Build Order Project. If you liked the video, please like the video. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. I've been Autobahn Bizquick, and I'll see you next time.